Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a BoxyCharm um, unboxing and try on. So, I know I just did a BoxyCharm video and I compared the Boxy Lux to the regular BoxyCharm, but then um, I got my November box, so I thought I would show it on camera also. And let me know if you guys like these videos because as I mentioned before I did sign back up for BoxyCharm so I'll be getting the regular box every month and the Boxy Lux every three months I believe so I'll just show you now I already opened the box um, this is what it looks like so this is the regular box it's not the premium box because now there's a regular box, a premium box, and a boxy lux, and it's getting a bit confusing for everyone, I think. Um, but yeah, this is the regular box. So this one is $25 a month. And I think because I'm also a boxy lux subscriber, I get to choose one of the products in my box. So I'll just show you that one right now since I won't be using it on camera because it's skincare. So the product I chose is this um, Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment. So that's the box. I actually am wearing it today because um, I've been really liking it actually. Of course I don't know yet if it's actually like an anti-wrinkle product. But this is what it looks like here. Yeah, it says the same thing on the bottle, Stem, cellu stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment um, formulated with organic ingredients. So, it looks like this, which is really fun. So, you push down here and the product comes out of the tip and then you use that as the applicator. And I've actually really been liking it, it feels really nice to put eye cream on with an applicator, it's just like... I don't know, it feels like you're probably getting more product absorbed in um, as opposed to just like using your finger, but I don't know. It could be just like a, what's that word? A placebo effect, but I really like it anyway. It makes me feel like it's more like clinical. Um, and this um, brand, Juice Beauty, is sold at Sephora, and I noticed recently like a lot of their products are on sale so i don't know if it means that they're phasing some of them out but i think this product was on sale also because the regular price for this by the way this is the theme this month it's called stellar the regular price for this is 50 dollars, and that's us so of course, it's more expensive in Canada. Um, and on the package here, it says a proprietary... I can't say that word. <laughs> a proprietary blend of fruit stem cells and vitamin C infused into organic, antioxidant-rich botanical juices work to reduce the appearance of fine lines around the eye and minimize the appearance of dark circles. I don't care as much about dark circles. I don't find I have dark circles. I have more redness under the eye, but the anti-wrinkle part intrigues me because I am getting older. It was my birthday, how many days ago? Like, not even a week ago. <laughs> uh, I'm in my 30s, so yeah, I like anything that's fine line reducing. And yeah, I hope it works. I will update you um in future videos but yeah i guess that's all i have to say about it for now because as i said i just got it so i don't know if it's really working but i do enjoy the process of applying it and the texture of the product is um it's not a cream it's more like a gel so um i find it really like absorbs quickly and yeah i like it so far so that was the product that i chose this month i think the other choice was um like a rose facial oil but i already have one of those and i never use it so why would i want another one right anyway so the next thing i got was a beauty sponge so that's useful because um that's how i apply 
my base makeup like almost every time I do it. So this brand, I've never heard of it before. It's called Illuminati and it's just um, a regular sponge. It actually looks exactly like a beauty blender, which by the way, I've never tried a beauty blender before. I find they're way too expensive for a sponge, <laughs> but yeah. So I got this and this was $21. I think the Beauty Blender is $25. And it says an edgeless, reusable, high definition cosmetic sponge applicator. So there's that. I'm not going to use it today because, well, I already have my base on since there's no base products in the box. And I use my Sony Kashuk sponge. This one here. I don't remember what it's called, but. She only has like one that looks like this anyway. So next thing I got, whoops, which just fell out of its package, is a product from Milk Makeup, which is another high-end brand. This product is called a holographic stick, which I should have known because I actually already have one of these in a mini size. But it's not the same shade. So I'm glad I got this shade because this is more like a highlighter shade for me. The other one I have is very pink. Um, so it, it's more like a blush topper, I would say. But this one is, it says here, a best-selling holographic cream highlighter stick packed with meteorite powder for a prismatic glow on cheeks, lips, and eyes. For me, I probably only use this as a highlighter like on my cheekbones and this is $28. Actually this is the first full size milk product that I've got and I have to say I like how it comes in this little like tube. Oh and the shade is here it's called Supernova. I'm actually going to put this on because I haven't put any powder on my face yet so Putting a cream product on at this point is okay. This is how it looks. And let's see how holographic it really is. Oh, it's not too crazy. Like, I think I could pull this off. So you can see there's like a lavender shift to it. It feels really nice. Not like sticky or anything, which is good. Maybe I should zoom in so you can actually see. Is that better? Okay. I'm just going to put it right on my face, I think. Put some here. I think that's... Those are the only places I want to put this right now. And I think I'll just blend it out with a sponge. Is that even showing on camera? I feel like the lighting is terrible. Is that any better? No. Oh yeah, you can see it. Looks nice it's definitely not like a super strong base which I like because I didn't want to have like a lavender streak of highlighter on my face right now <laughs> so I think it blended out pretty well with the sponge I wish you could see anything in this horrible lighting. This is a product I would, probably wouldn't have bought for myself because I have like other fun colored highlighters. I don't have cream ones though, which is good. I think this would be more of a, like a summer product for me. But yeah, so I mentioned it was $28, right? Yeah. And this is going to last me for my entire life. Like this is all... Product. The next thing I got is very, oh my god, this lighting is horrible. <sighs> I 
I'm gonna have to zoom out because otherwise I'm orange and dark. <laughs> but as I was saying, this is very exciting to get in the box. This is the Domni Cosmetics Celestial Thunder Palette. This was made exclusively for BoxyCharm, um, but it's basically a mini of her palette that she just launched. Uh, I think it's called Celestial Storm. So it looks like this. I love the colors in here. So there's um, one, two, three, four, five matte shades from what I can tell which are all this one and the bottom row and then there's three shimmer shades here and I'm very excited about this so let's try this on now of course I'm going to go in with this shade first this is called Lunar Eclipse it's like an orangey brown shade Oh, by the way, I already have mascara on because I've been out today already and I didn't want to take it off just to put it back on for the video. So we'll try to go around that. So this is pretty pigmented so far. I do own the Latte Palette from Dominique Cosmetics. I've only used it once because I have so many palettes. <laughs> um, I actually used it in the video, so I will link it below. I really liked it if what I, from what I remember. And so far, this is looking very nice also. Oh, I brought that in way too far here. <laughs> Yeah, that blended out very well. Next, I'm going to go in with this shade Storm Dust in the crease. Wow, that's pigmented. I just like gently tapped my brush and there's like full pigment. And I think for the lid, I want to use these two shades here. So first I'll go in with this one, Fireball. I'm gonna try it with a brush first and see. So I'm just gonna put this like kind of from the middle to the outer corner. Yeah, I think with this brush it's not picking up as much of the product as I'd like. But I th I'll go in with my finger once I have like the base down. So with the finger. But it's actually not like super creamy. If you can see. Like it doesn't feel super metallic. So I don't know how much difference there will be. But yeah, the color payoff is a lot it's brighter with the finger of course that wasn't it's not as um like cranberry as i thought it'd be it kind of turned more like a pink or it has a pink shift in it i like it though and then with this smaller brush i'm gonna go in with the shade here, Eternal Night. This looks very sparkly. Okay, yeah, so these are not like um, Anastasia shimmers or what's the last palette I used? Natasha Denona, where like when you, when you swipe them, they feel almost like wet. These are a lot more dry, so if you want to get the same color payoff as is in the pan, you would have to probably wet them um, or use your finger because this is more going on as like a sparkle, whereas I thought it'd be more like a metallic shade. So let me put some with my finger. Good thing I just cut my nails and I can actually get <laughs> in the corner. Yeah, see how much more payoff there is with the finger 
So I imagine if I wet my brush, it would be closer to that. So I'm just going to clean that up with the first brush I used. And for the bottom lid, I'm going to go back in with the first shade, Lunar Eclipse. And I'm just kind of smoking it out and connecting it to the um, the outer corner here. This shade is really nice. It's very pigmented but easy to blend which is good. And then in the inner corner I'm gonna go back in with Eternal Light. Actually I'm gonna spray my brush because I want to see how much difference it makes. Oh yeah. So that is I don't know if you, how well you can see that. Zoom in maybe and hope the lighting doesn't get awful. See how much like more you can see that shade now. So yeah, definitely wet these shimmers to get more impact. But if you did want to use them as more like topper shades, then it's fine to just use them dry. I really like how this looks. It's not looking as good on camera, I think, but you can see a lot more dimension in person of all like the sparkles, which I really like. And with any excess, I'm just going to put it on my brow bone. This is a very <laughs> orange smoky eye, but I... I like it. If you guys watched any of my other videos, you know I love orange eyeshadow, so yeah. Obviously that was just like my first impressions and I just did a really quick and somewhat uh, sloppy eye look, but um, so far I like the shades. Like I said, the shimmers are a bit drier than what I'm used to, but I actually swatched this shade um, black matter and it was a lot more creamy if you can see here like look at that that's so nice it's like a black base purple with um almost like pink sparkle i really like so I'm happy that I got that in the box. I actually was pretty interested in the Celestial Storm palette, but I don't need another palette. Um, so it's good that they they made this little mini guide just for BoxyCharm. So there was the palette. And then the next product from the box is a um, Dose of Colors. What are these called? Liquid Matte Lipsticks. I actually got one of these in my... Was it my September box, I believe? And this is like one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas, so I'm really happy about it. The only thing is I got another red shade. This shade is called Date Night. And the last one I got was also a red shade, but it was more like a very bright shade. It was called... I think it was called Straight Fire. This one seems to be more like a like a fuchsia red. It's still a bright red, but it's not an orangey red, if you know what I mean. This is probably going to clash so bad with my with my eye look, but I got to try it because the point of this video is to try my products from the Boxy Charm. Normally I'd use a lip liner with this kind of color, but I don't feel like going to get them. <laughs> so um, I think my camera cut off in the middle of that, but this is the shade. It's like a ruby red. Did I need another red liquid lipstick? No, I didn't. <laughs> and the reason I like this formula is that it feels like very thin on the lips but it's also pigmented at the same time and it wears off nicely and it doesn't feel like super dry it doesn't give you like those crinkly lips that you might get um from other liquid lipsticks so yeah oh and 
The other thing we got in the box is actually a sample. Usually um, we don't get samples in BoxyCharm, but what they're doing now is because they want in the future to start introducing complexion products, they want to get their customers feedback on what shade match they are because obviously this is a subscription box. They can't just put one shade and think that it will suit everyone. So they gave us the Pretty Vulgar Lightweight Concealer sample card. For me, obviously, the lightest shade is going to be my match, personally. And I'm still not sure if that's light enough for an under eye concealer. But uh, I didn't try it on today. When I do, I will keep you posted. It says that it's long wearing, medium coverage, velvety soft texture, natural flawless finish, great for all skin types, vitamin infused moisturization. And Pretty Vulgar is a brand they sell at Sephora. It's pretty pricey from what I've seen. So I'm happy to try a sample of it to see how it is. I am actually in the market for new concealers. The one I'm using now, it's there's still product in it, but it's like, I think, pretty old. So it's getting like thick and hard to blend. So yeah, we'll see if that one is any good. But yeah, that was everything that I got in the box. Let me tell you the total. So the Celestial Thunder eyeshadow palette was 35. The Juice Beauty Stem Cell Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment was 50. The Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick was 18. The Illuminati Cosmetic Sponge was 21. And the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick was 28. So the total of the box is 152. So obviously it's a good deal considering the box itself is $25. So I am pretty happy with everything I got, especially the Juice Beauty eye treatment thing um, and the palette. I think just those two products alone make the box super worth it in my opinion. I think I need to put more mascara on um, considering this eye look turned out pretty dramatic. <laughs> um, the one I used today was my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I don't normally use this mascara if I'm like going out like at night or for something like an event or because it gets smudgy on me. But if I'm just like running errands, I do use it up because it was very expensive. <laughs> And it's getting old, so. Oh, and I didn't even like put blush or bronzer on. I'll do that off camera since I didn't get anything in the box. And I'll come back and let you know what I used. Okay, so this is the finished look. I just put on some bronzer. I used my Marc Jacobs Tantastic bronzer. And for blush, I used my Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon. I added, I fixed my lip line. Um, because it was very bad um, with my Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in Crimson which was a really good um, shade match for the lipstick actually and I added the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon in Row Coco to my inner rim just to tie it together more but like I said normally I wouldn't wear red lipstick with orange eyeshadow but just for the sake of this video um, and just to note that I think the highlighter you can see it like when I shift my face but it's very subtle and obviously doesn't really go with this look either but yeah maybe it's more for like a more like no makeup makeup look but you still want like a bit of something fun or maybe I needed to put more product on but also I didn't want to mess too much with my base but anyway yes that was my boxy charm for November like I said in the beginning if you like these videos let me know and I will do my boxy charm unboxing um, every month and yeah if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!